Here's her question. Global warming, is this an issue that concerns you? Why? And what steps will you take to minimize potential impacts to the country and your district in particular? And as impact, she means water supply, flooding, sure. greater fire danger, drought. There's no doubt there is uh, global change or climate change. Uh, the question is uh, who causes it and is it caused predominantly by human activity? It seems to me we ought to take reasonable steps, but not steps that so put us in a disadvantageous position economically that we will have less jobs. There are those who cry about their concern for jobs, but then support the very things that would absolutely destroy jobs. Uh, we have an, a, an example of that in the current administration that I believe is supported by uh, my opponent, uh, to try and basically ruin the coal industry in the United States, losing us thousands of tens of thousands of jobs instead of pursuing the cleanest technology in the area of coal. Uh, look, uh, my record's pretty good. I happen to be chairman of, of House Administration. Uh, we got rid of the program the former speaker had of composting that gave us the savings of equivalent of carbon emission of one car per year. We just have the results in on the program that I established in the Congress, which is waste to energy. It produces enough energy to light 250 homes per year. It uh, reduces that which would go to the landfill by 5,000 tons and the number of car equivalents it takes off the street, essentially, in terms of carbon emission, is almost 900. That's a pretty good record in just one year. I, I just want to follow up real quickly. So you're suggesting that the global warming change that we're seeing may not be caused by man-made sources? No, my suggestion is we don't know to what extent it is and to what extent uh, palliative moves that we would take on our own in the United States will have an effect. At the same time, I believe it makes good common sense for us to Let's attempt to uh, try and reduce carbon emissions where possible, as I've done with the U.S. Capitol. Let's hold it there. Dr. Barry, you want to talk about climate change? Briefly? Yeah, talk to a farmer in the Midwest right now. The climate is changing. We're seeing extremes happen. Talk to folks living in New Orleans. We've seen these rapid extremes. We can go about this in a smart way, though, yeah. in a way that creates jobs. There's, we should never doubt America's ingenuity when we put our mind to something. There's no reason we can't move forward and become an energy independent country. That is what we need to do because this is a national security issue as well. We need to start moving off of a dependence on foreign oil. We need to start producing our own energy at home, putting folks to work. Now the original question was how does this affect us at home? It affects us dramatically. We depend on our agricultural sector here in California and we've gone through drastic droughts. So as the climate has been been changing, our snowpack's melting. That's our biggest reservoir. So we've got to address this. And we can debate what causes it and what the human impact is. But the fact of the matter is, the longer we wait, the worse it's getting.